Wilson was 32 years old when he received his first commission to paint a mural. The commission came from Roy Thompson, after whom the concert hall in Toronto would later be named. It has to be said that this mural was, well, competently executed, but gives no hint of the artist's potential. Wilson would have to discover abstraction and go through another mural commission before he would finally express himself powerfully in the 1955 23rd Psalm mural for the Salvation Army headquarters in Toronto, and then three years later with the Story of Oil, a commission for the building that was, at the time, the Imperial Oil headquarters in Toronto. One of the great achievements of York Wilson was the mural commissioned for the new O'Keeffe Centre in Toronto. The centre was rechristened the Hummingbird Centre in 1996, and then again the Sony Centre in 2007. He decided that the mural should depict seven arts. He called them the Lively Arts, as a tip of the hat to the book by Gilbert Seldes, published in 1924, called The Seven Lively Arts. Here, you're looking down the stairs to the main entrance area. You can see half of the mural on the left. Let's go downstairs and take a closer look. From this angle, you get a better idea of its staggering size, a monumental 100 feet by 15 feet. The mural is intended to be seen as a single unit, but it is in fact composed of seven merging panels. Here, you can see the entire length of the mural. Starting from the left, the first section depicts painting, and you can see echoes of prehistoric cave art, Egyptian murals, medieval Western religious painting, and modern abstract art. Next to painting is the sculpture panel, where Babylonian bas-relief mixes with Mayan forms and more like rounded forms. Architecture juxtaposes the solid, earth-gripping weight of the Parthenon and the soaring weightlessness of cathedral spires. With music, we reach the first of the arts that requires a middle person, a musician who can interpret the written code of musical sounds and temporarily reproduce what the composer originally heard silently in their head. Literature, you might think, can move from the words the author writes down directly to the eye of the reader. Maybe, but this panel renders the story visually. Can you discover the stories that are being told? Next, dance. A strange one, this. It is undoubtedly the most primitive of the art forms. Or would that one be music? But perhaps we are too sophisticated in our world of global communications to understand what this bodily, physical art is communicating. And finally, drama. York Wilson would have smiled as he created this seventh panel, remembering his childhood and his father who would walk around the house declaiming Shakespeare, which he knew to perfection, almost word for word. Mm -hmm.